I'm wondering whether you use AI tools like ChatGPT at all. Yeah, pretty often, both in both in university work and in my job as well. Every day, so. Yeah, at school, mostly. I use ChatGPT as well to do my research every day. Wow. I can't live without it. Sometimes, let's be honest, Recently, I found out, I didn't know, I was quite like, yeah, uninformed, that it's quite bad for the environment. I didn't actually know that until a few weeks ago, so I've kind of tried not to use it as much. We're in Helsinki, Finland, and just over 30 kilometers from here, a bunch of data centers are being built. Data centers are the physical manifestation of where everything we store online ends up. With the explosion of artificial intelligence in Europe, we'll see more and more of them. But do people know how much their daily use of AI costs in terms of energy? No, I don't know figures, but I do know it's not great. Yeah, do you want to know? Yeah, please. It's about uh, driving 100 miles in an electric car or yeah. the energy usage for an average household for a whole day. Okay. Yeah. Does that, does that shock crazy. you? It, it, to be honest, it doesn't shock me now, but it would have shocked me a couple of weeks ago when I had no idea, but it's that, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, to be honest, that's worse than I expected. Yeah, that's crazy. I think it's not that, like, known. You know, like people don't talk about it that much. Maybe like in our age, but I've never heard it on any news or something. Yeah, I know that um, because training a model is really like a cost of energy. Some of the researchers could like make efforts on this area, like to make artificial intelligence more benefit for people, but not like destroying our planet. Do you think having access to these AI tools is worth the environmental or energetic cost? I wouldn't say so at all, no. I don't think so. I think we were okay without it. <laughs> we still have Google and these things, so... Yeah. To be honest, like, on an individual level, maybe not. But the problem is that if everyone else is using ChatGPT, especially in the working life, you basically put yourself in the disadvantage if you, if you don't use it. It's like something that you need to adapt to or you will be missing out of, of different chances. For doing research, I don't think that I can live without AI, but I don't think that is essential for our daily life or happiness, actually. 